happy Sabbath, happy day. I'm going to sing a song for you, Let Your Heart Be Broken. Let your heart be broken for a world in need. Feed the mouths the hunger, so the wounds the bleed. Give the cup of water and the loaf of bread. Be the hands of Jesus serving in his stead. Here on earth applying principles of love, visible expression, cause the rules above, living illustration of the vacant plan, be the means through which the Lord reveals His grace. To your believing, disapproved it true. Knowing Christ the Savior, serve Him was the true. Follow in His footsteps, go where He has drawn. In the world's great trouble, risk yourself for. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath, church. My name is Sean Baraka, and I am a preacher. God has given me the gift of preaching. Today's sermon is entitled, My Gift from God. With me are my fellow children, and they are going to introduce themselves. My name is Kemunta Nyaribo and I am gifted with crafts. My name is Tamara Mora and I am gifted with cheering. My name is Baraka Muzomi. I am in gifted playing violin. Hi, my name is Bianca and I'm gifted in singing. My name is Nina Candy. I have given a it's memory vast. My name is Teacher Mary and I'm gifted in praying. Before we start, we're going to have a prayer from Teacher Mary. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father for the gift of life, and we thank you for all of us that you have gathered here to hear the children's story. We invite the presence of your Holy Spirit to guide us, guide the boys and girls who are listening, that they will hear your word in Jesus' name. We welcome Nina to say the memory verse. Genesis 1 verse 1.
We welcome Baraka to play the violin. Boys, boys and girls, as, we, as I said earlier, today's sermon is on God's gift to me. Did you know that God has given each one of us a gift to use in his service? The book of 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11 talks about different types of gifts given to us through the Holy Spirit. They are called spiritual gifts. In the book of 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11, we got to understand that the gifts are different but given by the same spirit. The gifts work differently but for and from the same God. And the, gifts, and the spirit decides which gifts to give to whom. Let us repeat what we've learned from the verses. One, the gifts are different but given by the same spirit. Two, the gifts work differently but for and from the same God. Three, the Spirit decides which gift to give to whom. Why does God give us spiritual gifts? In the book of Ephesians 4, 11 to 12, in this verse, we learn that God gives us spiritual gifts so that we can serve and strengthen the church of God. Does he give, the, does he give us the spiritual gifts to make us proud? No, he gives us the spiritual gifts so that we can serve and strengthen the church of God. A story is told of a boy who wanted to buy a bicycle so much. He worked various jobs, like dumping the trash in the trash lorries, wiping daddy's car, and feeding the neighbor's dog when the neighbor was away. And all he wanted to do was to buy a bicycle. Daddy took him to the shop, and he chose the bicycle he loved most. You should have seen the joy and the excitement on the pra in the boy's face as he loaded the bicycle to daddy's car. When they got home, he set the bicycle to rest on its kickstand. He wiped the dust and there stood his bicycle that he had worked hard for with the money that he earned, shining. But suddenly, he started feeling that if he rode it, he would be doing something bad to it. It was too good to be rode on the dusty paths. He told his father he does not want to ride it and he, want, he just wants to sit and look at it all day. His father sat him down and told him that is not a good idea. That if you do not ride your bicycle along the neighborhood and get to enjoy the wind on your face, you will get to enjoy the wind on your face, you will lose it and it will fall apart um, right where it sits. Someday, just like your old bicycle. That sounds a lot like our spiritual gifts. Supposing God has given you, to, 
given you the gift to play a musical instrument and you do not play for a long time. The next time you come and try to play it, you will realize that you are unable to play and that the instrument has gone out of tune. The Bible tells us about such an incident. The book of Matthew 25, 14 to 30 tells us about a man who traveled to a far country and he left his servant with talents. To one, he gave five talents. To another, he gave two talents. And to another, he left with one talent. The one with five talents traded and made five more. The one with two talents traded with his and made two more. The one with one talent instead buried his in the ground. When the master came back, he took it and gave it to the one with five talents. So children, if we do not use our gifts, God will take them away. If my friends here and I do not use the gifts God has given us, God will not only take them away, but he will also punish us. Do we want to lose our gifts? I know we don't. Let us use them. Before we finish, I want to invite Kemi to do a craft with us. Then, my name is Kemunto Nyaribo, and with me is Tamara Mora. Today we are going to be learning about spiritual gifts and how we can use them to serve God. For our craft today, we are going to write the spiritual gifts in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 and 12 on these cards. Speaking in different tongues, interpretation of tongues, designing of spirits, working of miracles, prophecy, faith, knowledge, and wisdom. I am going to put these cards in the box and wrap them nicely because it is a gift from God to his children. Remember, he gives the gifts because he loves. Now I spread the wrapper and begin to wrap. Oh, it's not working. time it will work and Jesus is with you okay I believe in you and you will make it Beautiful. Thank you for Tamara for cheering me up and encouraging me. Now it's time to put the ribbon to make it look even more beautiful. is ready. Thank 
thank you Tamara once again for cheering me up and encouraging me. And thank you boys and girls for listening. God bless. Boys and girls, as we learned Talia, God gives us different gifts. I cannot do the crafts as well as she did. I thank God that all these gifts he has given us are for serving him and making the church strong. Are they for making us proud? No, they are for making others know him. God, want us, God wants us to use these gifts to make others know him. Boys and girls and the whole church, will you use your gifts to serve Jesus? We invite you to say the key verse with us. Acts 4.20 And it says, we cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. Let us repeat once more. Acts 4.20 It says, we cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Our kind and loving Father, Lord, we thank you for everything you've given us. We thank you for your love and your care for us and helping us to wake up this morning that we may come to church. We pray that as we are, as we are here in church, we pray that you may help us understand what the pastor preaches to us. May you help us to with knowledge and may you help us to do what you want us to do and help us to understand what we have just learned in Jesus' name. Amen.